French dairy farmers protested this week, complaining that their worst fears about the price they're paid for their milk have been realised. Back in March 2015, the day before EU milk quotas came to an end, farmers from 16 states had protested outside the European Parliament in Brussels. They feared there would be a glut of milk on the market and that prices would plummet. At the time, one German farmer predicted that whatever the size of a farmer's herd, they'd suffer. With the end of the quota system, there won't be any winners amongst the farmers, whether you have 50 or 500 cows. The percentage of farmers, young farmers under uh, 35 years of age in Europe is 6%. So there is no perspective. Farmers need perspective and they also need market regulation systems so that in crisis situations you can involve yourself in the market and you can make sure that we have a short crisis and not a very deep and long one because then the farmers will have to quit their, their farms. The milk quota system was introduced in the early 80s to ensure a surplus wasn't produced that would drive down prices. This week farmers stepped up protests against the food giants. French farmers unions want those giants to pay more for their milk than the current market prices to keep French farmers in business. Meanwhile, farmers complain that they can't keep operating at a loss. We are missing about 110 euros per tonne of milk, since the price paid is 270 euros, while in the past we got 380. We cannot continue forever to make a farce of the milk producers, as was done this year. On Monday, food giant Lactalis said it would renegotiate milk prices with farmers after they protested outside its headquarters in Laval. And now all eyes are on the EU Commission to see whether it will prop up the French dairy industry, perhaps with financial bailouts.